NBA players missing playoff games and MLB players missing regular season games for the birth of their children, why don't NFL players miss games for the most part? I'll let you in on a little secret here. This is Dr. David Chow, Pro Football Doc at Sports Injury Central. As a head team physician of 17 years in the NFL, we'll let you in on some insight of how NFL players typically don't miss games for their childbirth. It's not that they don't care. It's not that the games are just once a week and by chance. It's not that the wives take football more seriously. There is a reason for this. Recently, uh, Rudy Gobert missed a round two playoff game against the Denver Nuggets. Thankfully, his Timberwolves team still won. He attended the birth of his first child. Manny Machado of the Padres missed a three-game series to be there for the birth of his first child. Congratulations to all pro athletes. And I do think it's very special to be there for the birth of your children, especially a first child. I've heard some of the criticism, don't miss games. I've heard uh, one other former athlete say that the kid will be there, he won't remember. But you're there for yourself. You're there long term for your kid, but you're there for your wife or baby mama as well. So uh, kudos to those that make the decision to be there. But there are ways to manage childbirth. Last year, Sean McVay jokingly said he wasn't going to miss a game that his son knows better than to show up or to be born on a game day. Uh, my wife's doing great. I think there was a lot made about me missing a game. I'm not going to miss a game. My son knows better than to come during a game. I in addition to that, uh, Jake Matthews left tack a tackle for the uh, Atlanta Falcons on a Thursday night game, was in Carolina, wife went into labor, went home, and Arthur Blank, the owner, lent him his personal plane and he flew back in time for the Thursday night game. No question, NFL. 16, 17 regular season games, different than the 82 games or 162 games, et cetera, in basketball and baseball. So there's more opportunity. But here's what happens on an NFL medical staff. You can try and do this on NBA Major League Baseball, but it's harder. NFL medical staffs try and time out the birth. We actually had an ob Gine who was one of our referral physicians that we'd have the players and their wives see if they wanted to and time out the birth of their child. Not the conception and not to be born in the off season, but once they reach the appropriate gestation period for delivery, many times we would set up inducement. More NFL player kids are born on a Tuesday than any other day of the week because Tuesdays are off day. And often there'd be inducement scheduled of labor once things were progressing nicely and the baby was mature to be able to deliver on a Tuesday as opposed to a game day or away. And there's lots of different management things that can be done, etc. And believe it or not, NFL team physicians with the appropriate consent and encouragement of mom and dad would do so and that's why you don't see it as much in the nfl and admittedly it is easier to juggle because of one game a week my personal experience is i had boy girl twins my first in october during an nfl season uh, it ended up being an emergency c-section on a tuesday i did leave for the game away game on friday with the team uh, while my kids and wife were still in the hospital one was still in the NICU and I still hear about it to this day I made it back for the discharge on Sunday night so I do applaud athletes for being there but that's our little secret NFL teams try and plan birth timing around games and typically induce on Tuesday to avoid these issues and problems this is Dr. David Chow Pro Football Doc Sports Injury Central thanks for watching